Yum, yum! Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to show you a quick trick on how to do your composite of CG renders in, in a proper way. As you might know, you can put render outputs in Modo inside Material Group, like so, which will give you access to, in this case, just those pieces with, with that material or that this group targets. I also have an alpha for that and for all the other bits of the scene. And if you save that out, that's the, the beauty render. And then we'll have all the layers split out and can correct and adjust them separately. That's also pretty nice. If you need to re-render just a bit, you just render that, that part and plop it over the original image, something I've done here. I have a different shader for these pieces. In fact, the whole thing is a little bit different. And then I just merge the black chess pieces with a new shader on top. One thing you might notice if you do the holdout version like so is if you over them, just like with a normal over, you can maybe already see it here. If you compare it to the original RGB, we get black fringing mostly in the defocused areas, but it'll be apparent in the sharp areas as well. If you put it over a very grating background image, you can see all the fine edges show transparencies where there are not supposed to be any. So how does that happen? Um, if we look at what the over does internally is, we have an RGB image with an alpha, we have a background, uh, the formula for the over first stencils out the alpha from the foreground, from the background, so we get a background with a black hole in it, where the foreground is supposed to be. And then it pluses the foreground on top of it. So what that means is if we already have an image like this one where the foreground is already cut out, and we cut out the, the alpha again by doing the over operation, kind of get a doubling up of this edge here that's due to the anti-aliasing. We get these half transparencies, and if we look at the alpha of the over, that's exactly what you see. You do not get a completely opaque alpha. That's why we get these issues. We can fix them rather easily Nuke has a special merge operation for cases just like that, which is the disjoint over. And boom, we have a properly layered image. The same works in Fusion as well. So if we look over here, we have a standard merge, and I've merged the individual pieces together, like so. And if we look closely, we can also see these half transparencies here, putting it on a green background this time. Um, in Fusion, what you want to do is set the merge burn in to one, which will fix the problem for you in this case, leading to clean edges. Yum, yum.